Now on Coast TV News. Finding school financing, that is what is needed for this new Buckingham Elementary School to be built in Berlin. Tax tweak in Selbyville, where town officials are specifically targeting to get more money for local government. This is Coast TV News Midday. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Matt Pensick and welcome to Coast TV News Midday. We were seeing some sun this morning. Now some clouds are rolling in. A lot of clouds there in our live look at Dover. More clouds than blue. Our first alert meteorologist Bob Try, he joins us now to look at first alert weather. Bob, where'd the sun go? <laughs> That's a very good question, Matt. Yeah, we had that full sunshine for a couple of hours this morning. And now the clouds are filling back in. Here's our visible satellite picture. You can see how it's starting to cloud up. Mostly cloudy across Del Marble right now. Not seeing anything in the way of rain. Maybe some sprinkles across the Chesapeake Bay. We've got one area of low pressure moving to the north. That's a big snowstorm for New England. And then this other swirl across the Ohio Valley, this upper level low that will be heading our way. And as it does with the afternoon heating, well, we'll be seeing some showers out there. And temperatures are warming up. Low to mid 50s right now. Ocean Pines 54 Salisbury. 53 Georgetown right now 52, but we've got a chilly westerly wind right now, so we'll have the wind increasing clouds and increasing showers. Here's noon, mid 50s, upper 50s around the two o'clock hours, so maybe we're getting close to 60 in some places, but a lot of mid 50s out there. I think with the clouds, we'll see the hit and miss showers as we go into the evening hours, still breezy and cool at six, and the showers will start to taper off once the sun goes down. So your day part forecast, keep the umbrella and raincoat handy. Some of those showers into the afternoon with 50s. Then they'll quit tonight. Then more April showers for Friday. Weekend not looking too bad and eclipse weather looking pretty good. Uh, have that forecast coming up in just a little bit. All right, thank you, Bob. <laughs> Happening today, we should get a clear idea of Worcester County's plans for the construction of a new Buckingham Elementary School in Berlin. This afternoon, county commissioners will review how the construction of this new school will be paid for. Project was put on hold back in October of last year. That was over funding issues. Back then, the plans called for a new, nearly 103,000 gross square foot Buckingham school, but that figure exceeded the state formula maximum of over 65,000 square feet. The current building is on Buckingham Road in Berlin. That is just off of Route 113. It's south of the intersection of US 50. According to US News and World Report data, the enrollment at the school is 488 students. The student-teacher ratio is 11 to 1. And out of 844 schools in Maryland, Buckingham ranks 205th. House and Senate leaders in the Maryland State Legislature, they're claiming they have reached a new deal on a new budget. Now, early reports indicate that nearly all of the $63 billion budget proposed by Democrat Governor Wes Moore remains intact. The compromise, it led to over $800 million trimmed from a plan that was being pushed by House Democrats. No tax increases are in this budget. A House and Senate Budget Conference Committee meeting is expected for this afternoon with a final vote in both chambers to follow. We have an update on a story we first brought to you out of Laurel in February. It involves a shooting and we now know a second suspect has been identified by police. There was a warrant for a 17 year old male from Seaford. The Laurel Police Department has been investigating a shooting that took place on February 11th. This is at the Carville Gardens apartment complex. Police say the 17-year-old was already in custody in Maryland for a different crime. He will now be extradited to Delaware. It was earlier, in late March actually, suspect Branson Daniels was arrested for this shooting in Ocean City. Developing news out of Selbyville where town officials are proposing an ordinance to amend its rental tax. The town is looking to impose a 2% gross receipts tax on all rental income for private and public lodging. Now, this would include places like bed and breakfast inns, cabins, apartments, or really any commercial buildings which rent or lease space. All of this expected to be reviewed at next week's town council meeting. Today, President Biden expected to have a call with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. This will be the first phone call between the two leaders since the deadly Israeli airstrike killed seven World Central Kitchen workers in Gaza. According to a senior White House official, Biden will express anger and frustration over the airstrike that was intended to hit Hamas targets, but instead killed the aid workers. This as Israel attempts to eliminate Hamas after last year's attack by the terror organization. Back then, Hamas beheaded Israeli civilians and committed a number of sexual atrocities. 
U.S. Department officials told House investigators they created Afghanistan withdrawal plans from scratch. That was after the fall of Kabul in 2021. Three top State Department officials delivered testimony behind closed doors about the final days of U.S. presence in Afghanistan. The interviews are part of an ongoing investigation into that 2021 evacuation that involved the death of 13 U.S. service members. And according to interview transcripts, U.S. officials claimed they had little time to prepare and they had no evacuation plan at that time. Like I said, I have to check my Powerball ticket because there, I don't have to check it, actually, because there was no jackpot winner in the drawing Wednesday night. The jackpot now goes up to an estimated $1.23 billion. The next Powerball drawing, that is Saturday night. Resort revision coming up. Now that developers have moved on from a Margaritaville resort, the new challenges they are facing for a hotel along the Ocean City Boardwalk. Coast TV News Midday returns after this. When you smoke inside, you're not the only one who inhales. Secondhand smoke causes cancer and heart disease in adults, and respiratory problems in children, and SIDS in infants. If you smoke or vape, take it outside. When I decided to have my kitchen done, I knew I wanted it done professionally. And that's when I contacted Ellen. She took me to the Delmarva Design Center. From the moment I bring a customer into Delmarva Design Center, the ideas start to flow. First thing we do is take a stroll around the showroom so we can look at all the different vignettes to get ideas of what they like and see what they react to. For each of the different aspects that I wanted to change in my kitchen, there were experts here and everyone was so helpful they listened to what I had to say, and they had great ideas that helped me put together exactly what I wanted for my kitchen. My goal is to have the customer enjoy their space as quickly as possible, and Del Marva Design Center helps me do that. My kitchen is one of my favorite places now. It's something that I use every single day of my life. I'm elated with my experience at the Del Marva Design Center. Del Marva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Positive, focused, supportive, and goal-oriented. These are just a few qualities of coaches who inspire their athletes. Each month, the Preston Automotive Group will select a coach who makes a difference and make a $500 donation to their organization. Then at the end of the year, three of these coaches will receive an extra donation to their program. Nominate your coach today at DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com under the Features tab. Delmarva Sports Network Coach Who Makes a Difference. Brought to you by Preston Automotive Group. Upgrade your roof. Whether it's metal roofing or shingles, Alpha Roofing and Siding is the pinnacle of protection and style using premium materials that withholds any harsh conditions that are covered by a 50-year material warranty. Get free gutter guards with your new roof and 12 months no interest. Ask us how to save 30% with the federal tax credit on solar skylights. Call today for more details. Alpha Roofing and Siding, where protection comes first and setting the standard is our legacy. An update on a story that we brought to you earlier this week. What was proposed to be the Margaritaville Hotel is being sized down to a smaller hotel to fit between 13th and 14th Street in Ocean City. But even though the site plan for the smaller hotel has been approved, some businesses around the area are pushing back. An appeal has been filed for the approved site plan. And one of the issues brought up was the amount of parking. But Hugh Cropper, right there, the attorney representing the future hotel developer, says there should be no problems with the plan as is. I don't see any problem with the parking. It's code compliant. It's been approved by the Planning Commission. We have a final site plan approval, so I do not see any problem with parking. And there's no timeline yet for the future hotel. The appeal process still needs to come to a conclusion one way or another before any construction can begin. But this does take us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what is your main concern about Margaritaville that no longer coming to Ocean City? And so far, a majority of you are voting in and saying the lost jobs because it's no longer going to be a Margaritaville. We also have some votes for lost entertainment and then in single digits, economic impact and less tourism. 
This morning, an annual breakfast was held at Crossroad Community Church in Georgetown. Partner with Pathways brings together the people and businesses who support the mission of Pathways to Success. The nonprofit gives local high school students the support they need to stay on their pathways to graduation. 98% of students in the program do graduate, and our own Mallory Metzner was the mistress of ceremony. She introduced all the speakers and graduates who spoke about their roles in the organization and how it has helped them succeed. Had a rough week? Well, cheer up with a weekly dose of local good news from Coast TV with personal features, fun things to do each weekend, and more. Lighten up your week. Subscribe to the Coast TV Feel Good Friday newsletter. Sign up now for free at coasttv.com slash sign up and get your weekly dose of joy directly sent to your inbox. Speaking of a weekly dose of joy, here's Bob. Oh, thanks a lot, Matt. We had the pristine blue skies earlier, now replaced by some clouds out there. Tyndall's casual furniture cam, look at the field, still waterlocked, still a lot of water out there. And the clouds increase and a little bit more in the way of water. Nothing flooding as far as rain, but April showers as we go into this afternoon and tomorrow afternoon as well. Here's a look at our UV index brought to us by Ocean City. It's time to break out the sunscreen. It's a five today. Burn time is 40. Have a hat, sunglasses, and sunscreen. And in the days to come, we are in the upper range of the medium and even high range as well. So that means the higher SPF and find some shade as well. Much more on your forecast, including the weekend and the eclipse forecast coming up next. Dive into the extraordinary this spring at Bella Terra's Garden Center. Discover rare wonders, vibrant annuals, perennials, a wide range of native plants and lush tropicals. With over 20 years of expertise, trust us to elevate your curb appeal. Explore our website and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for insider tips, inspiration and exclusive deals that will take your gardening to the next level. Experience the possibilities at our garden center right off Route 16 between Milton and Allendale. Transform your bathroom into a haven of luxury with baths by Spicer Brothers. Call today for your free consultation. We'll work around your hectic schedule with evening, Saturday, and even same-day appointments available. And right now, receive 50% off installation, a free shower door upgrade, and a free deluxe shower head. Plus, enjoy your new shower now and pay later with no interest and no payments for 18 months. With Baths by Spicer Brothers, quality is our promise and your satisfaction is our guarantee. So before you sign, keep Baths by Spicer Brothers in mind. You need to lose weight, but you hate lugging out that big blender for a healthy shake. Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with my Bionic Blade, the new handheld blender that's rechargeable, so you can make a fast, healthy shake anywhere. Designed like this shake bottle you take to the gym, it has the motor and blades built right into the lid. Bionic Blade quickly creates smooth drinks just like the big blenders. But this is portable, so you can make a shake anywhere. Make pina coladas right by poolside. Even grind coffee beans and make a quick, refreshing iced coffee pick-me-up on the go. Get the Bionic Blade for just $29.99 and we'll even ship it to you free. But wait, order now and get two sipping lids, a second large blender container, plus the sports lid. Yours free. You'll get this entire portable blending system for just $29.99. Call or click now. To order, call 1-800-709-7148 or go to buybionicblade.com. So call 1-800-709-7148 or you can order online at buybionicblade.com. The Beach. Nice to see the storminess is now well behind us. Of course, all the stormy weather we had yesterday is now history. We had a little window of blue skies this morning, but now the clouds are filling back in. Dry tech cam right now in Ocean City 52. A little choppy out there on the bay, and those clouds are filling in. Eventually, I think it will yield some showers as we go through the afternoon. So what to expect? Yes, some April showers, mainly afternoon hours that peak 
heating time this afternoon and then again as we go into tomorrow afternoon nothing flooding no yellow or red alerts nothing like that the weekend is looking drier breezy and cool maybe a stray shower saturday and the much talked about solar eclipse just four days away looking at partly cloudy skies and there's that cool looking qr code right there hover your phone over that and that will take you to our web page where we have a lot of information on that eclipse that's coming up on monday but right now we're seeing mostly cloudy skies Clouds increasing across Del Mar as the clear skies have now pushed away. Maybe seeing a few light sprinkles starting to pop up across Chesapeake Bay. Very, very light. Where in between two systems, there's one area of low pressure to the north, now giving New England a big snowstorm. That's one area. And then another one is this spin across the Ohio Valley, and that's heading our way. That will increase the clouds, and you can see the area of rain and even snow with that. We're not going to see the snow, but some of those rain showers into the afternoon. You can see with temperatures in the low 50s, right now too warm for any snow but we'll see some of those cold raindrops later it is breezy out of the west so as we go into the afternoon here's future cast at noon we're increasing the clouds some of those showers have the umbrella rain raincoat handy temperatures into the mid 50s maybe upper 50s if you see enough sunshine but a lot of us stuck in the mid 50s with more of those showers late afternoon and then evening they start to taper off and after sunset i think we will clear the skies and then it gets chilly by friday morning into the upper 30s don't think we're we're looking at frost, but good idea to protect your plants in the next several mornings as we're getting down into the mid 30s. Eventually tomorrow morning sunshine, then afternoon clouds and more of those showers again breezy and maybe even a little cooler with highs only into the low 50s. Then we start to clear it out after that. It is breezy out of the west today, gusting over 20 miles per hour and still breezy through tonight and into Friday morning with the wind. I think that will prevent anything in the way of frost and still breezy into Friday night. It's a Saturday. We're seeing morning sun sunshine, then afternoon clouds, maybe a sprinkle, and then Sunday, the same thing. Morning sunshine, then maybe some afternoon clouds and maybe a sprinkle. Then, of course, we've got the big eclipse coming up in four days, taking that path right through Texas into New England. We're not in the path of totality. We're looking at about 85%. So we're looking at a partial eclipse as we go into that time period and maybe just a few clouds, but I think overall the viewing for the eclipse should be great. 56 this afternoon, those afternoon showers, 39 tonight and then 53 tomorrow. Once again, a few afternoon showers. Paul Davis seven day forecast. We keep it in the 50s this weekend. Lots of clouds, maybe a sprinkle Saturday 54. Pretty cold Saturday and Sunday morning 36. Protect your plants 57 Sunday eclipse Monday looking sunny. A few clouds 62 near 70 Tuesday in mid 60s and mild and dry Wednesday. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Mark Bob. this on your viewing calendar Monday, April 8th. We'll have live coverage with NBC News of the eclipse beginning at 2 p.m. Lester Holt will anchor the two hour special total eclipse 22. 24. It will feature over a dozen reporters from all over the U.S. Again, that is Total Eclipse 2024. Our live coverage Monday starts at 2. Here's what's happening today at 4 on Coast Life. We're showing you a way you can ride around Delmarva in style. And a new way for you to grocery shop for you and your family for a whole lot less. All that and more today at 4 on Coast Life. Get ready for the ultimate outdoor experience. Join us for the DSN Outdoors Expo on Friday, April 19th from 4 to 8 and Saturday, April 20th from 10 to 4. Showcase your products or services to thousands of potential customers at the Delaware State Fairgrounds in Harrington. Increase your brand awareness and reach a large audience at the DSN Outdoors Expo. To apply as a vendor and for more information, visit WBOCEvents.com. Here at Delaware Electric Cooperative, we don't have customers, we have members. Those we power own the cooperative and are entitled to all of its profits. Because we're a not-for-profit, we are focused on service. That's why our electric rates are the lowest in the region and why our employee family continues to achieve record reliability. Like the farmers who founded our co-op in the 1930s, we believe everyone is entitled to quality electric service. Member built, member owned. That's the DEC difference. Shower Glass, our name says it all. We provide the best custom shower glass on the shore in a fraction of the time, and our reviews prove it. Shower Glass delivers the best fit, finish, and fastest service. Reliable scheduling, competitive pricing, the best in the business. They're the only one we call for Shower Glass. Frameless beauty with speed, accuracy, and lifetime warranties. Shower Glass, it's all we do. Visit showerglassdoors.net to schedule your free consultation. 
Your wallet is always in danger. Criminals can hack your information without you even knowing. Introducing Slim Mint, an ultra-thin RFID blocking wallet that keeps your cards and cash protected. Slim Mint uses the latest RFID blocking technology to prevent thieves from stealing your info. It's ergonomically designed to optimize space and keep your belongings organized. With the auto-locking Slim Mint, your cards and money stay securely in place. It has a built-in cash clip and a flexible outer band to fit your additional cards and cash. Call or click now and get Slim Mint for just $29.99. Order in the next five minutes and you'll get an instant $10 discount. So it's only $19.99. But wait, due to rising costs, this may be your last chance to get Slim Mint at this low price. There's a strict limit of three Slim Mint wallets while supplies last. Don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-613-4296. Call or visit SlimMintWallet.com. So call 1-800-613-4296 now. President Biden backing off on refilling America's emergency oil stockpile. The Energy Department says the administration will no longer buy up to 3 million barrels of crude for a reserve site in Louisiana. Biden used oil in the strategic reserve in an attempt to lower gas prices, but data shows it had minimal effect. And it's because of the higher cost of oil now that the Energy Department says it prefers not to buy any at this time to restock the reserve. Still ahead, nasty bugs, what to do if you are bitten by a tick and what to know about these dangerous creepy crawlers. Stay with us on Coast TV News Midday. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Draper Media seeks a detail-oriented overnight operations technician. This crucial role involves monitoring and managing over-the-air and content, plus quality control. Successful candidates are proactive problem solvers with knowledge in broadcasting systems like Grass Valley Ignite and Sony ELC. This position requires night, early morning, and weekend shifts. Apply today at DraperMediaJobs.com. Draper Media is an equal opportunity employer. Wow, it's so much bigger than you realize. East Coast Tile and Flooring has the largest selection of tile from around the world. And they are the only Dow Tile Premier Showroom on the shore. They have the knowledge and expertise to assist architects, designers, and homeowners, and are fully licensed to take on any job from start to finish. Family owned and operated since 1947. Call East Coast Tile and Flooring today for a design consultation. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new clinically proven Lexercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug free way. After using Lexercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Lexercise Pro's patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Lexercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. Taking you back to the decade of neon colors, big hair, and of course, great music. Join me, April, every morning at 8 a.m. on 107.1 The Duck as I play some of your favorite tunes from back in the day. It's April's Awesome 80s, sponsored by Easton Auto Care and Denton Auto Care and Tire. They're mistakenly thought to be insects, but ticks are actually arachnids, a relative of spiders, and they can transmit dangerous diseases to humans. That's why you want to avoid getting bitten. And Mandy Gator shows us what to expect for the 2024 tick season and how to stay protected. In the U.S., tick season usually peaks between May and July and then again in the fall. But it's April and the creatures are already out. 
they are hungry, so they are looking for their first meal of the year, and they do pose that risk of transmitting infection. Dr. Bobby Pritt with Mayo Clinic says you can help prevent tick bites. Check your body often, especially after being outdoors. Wear long sleeves and pants and tuck those pants into socks, giving ticks less skin they can bite. And make sure to wear bug spray. Usually we look for tick repellents that have at least 30% DEET. But there are other chemicals, picaridin, that are, is a very good repellent. If you do get bitten, Pritt says to not panic. Remove the tick as quickly as possible. The best way to do that is with tweezers that you can use close to the skin as close as possible. Grasp the head of the tick as it's going into the skin and just pull it out in a slow, continuous motion taking care to not squeeze the tick or breaking off the mouth parts if you can help it. Pritt says if you live in an area where Lyme disease is present and find a swollen tick attached to your skin, consider seeing a doctor, especially if it's been attached for 36 hours or more. Your doctor can prescribe antibiotics to prevent Lyme disease. And be aware of the symptoms of Lyme disease, including fever, body aches and pains, upset stomach, severe headache and fatigue. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Good advice indeed heading into the warmer weather ahead. We're seeing clouds increasing on our Tidal Health Cam in Seaford. And we will see a few showers this afternoon and the rest of the week and then a drier weekend and pretty good weather for the eclipse coming up. Remember, another way to get your forecast is calling the first alert weather line 443-880-9100. Your forecast just a call away. Sponsored by Baird, Mandals, Broxted and Federico. I'll have your 10 day forecast next. What do you do when your tire goes flat and there's no air anywhere? You reach for Bullseye Pro, the smarter, faster, hands-free way to fill it up with air. Bullseye Pro is equipped with a rechargeable lithium-ion power plant. So fast and so convenient. It's like the power of an air compressor in the palm of your hand. Look, you can inflate all four tires on a single charge. It has a built-in smart pressure digital sensor that gauges and automatically automatically stops when the set tire pressure is reached. Easily inflate pool toys, exercise balls, and more. Call or go online now and get the complete Bullseye Pro inflation system for the factory direct price of just $79.99. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free and we'll give you a 50% discount on a second one. Order now. To order, call 1-800-771-0865. That's 1-800-771-0865 or go to getbullseyepro.com. When homeowners think of a kitchen remodel, they picture their house in chaos for months, eating out every night, and of course, a big invoice. With Paul Davis, we have an easy kitchen remodel solution for a fraction of the cost. Our certified installers add five layers of hardwood over your cabinets with new doors and drawers to match. And it's done in as little as three days. Save Big Three Ways is now extended. Get last year's pricing, pay nothing until 2025, and get 1,000 off now ending April 30th. Call Paul Davis for a free estimate. take Alyssa out. I just wonder if Stephanie gets tired of putting makeup on her two faces. A snake will always be a snake. The tea is hot. I am through. I can't deal with this panic attack. Dealer No Deal Island, Monday on NBC and Peacock. Hi, I'm Scott Kammerer from Soil Concepts. Today we're at Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Come check us out. Located in the Rehoboth Gateway next to Blue Coast Rehoboth, Thompson Island will follow the Sodell tradition of serving beautiful, simple food that will pair perfectly with our fresh homemade beer. Thompson Island is the perfect place to have dinner with your family, enjoy happy hour with friends at the bar, or spend a day in the beer garden playing bocce ball and ping pong. Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, open seven days a week. See you soon. Total Eclipse Glasses. How do you know what you're buying? Next in some edition, this guy was selling 500 pairs of Eclipse glasses. But are they the real deal? Find out what NASA told us. Why won't you talk to us if he's illegitimate? Then, the American tourist hey, hey. killed by a rampaging bull elephant. Hey, hey. Watch the next in some edition. Today at 5.30 on Coast TV.
We're still seeing the sunshine now, but you need the rain gear this afternoon. Spotty showers building in through the afternoon hours. Nothing like we saw yesterday, but have the umbrella and raincoat. And then those showers quit around sunset. Temperatures falling from the 50s into the 40s. And by tomorrow morning, a low of 39. Paul Davis 10 day forecast Friday through the weekend. Highs in the 50s, pretty chilly at night, mid 30s. Definitely have to cover those plants, bring them inside. Eclipse Monday looking good. A few clouds 62 and then we're into warmer temperatures next week. Mid upper 60s more showers Thursday and Friday. Bob and thank you for being with us on Coast TV News Midday for more news and local weather. Download our Coast TV News app and don't forget to join us later for Coast TV News at 5. Till then, have a great Thursday everybody. Now on Coast TV News. All eyes on the Bay Bridge, a new report sounding alarms after the collapse of the Key Bridge last week. Deadly hit and run update charges filed, a man in custody and some details you just have to hear.